Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So round one of the uh, Blade Arena and Refreshed Rampage Arena is done. I don't remember who all was in the Refreshed Rampage. Um, I remember Miles Morales, I think Guillotine, and um, uh, Thor Ragnarok, I believe. But we'll, we'll take a look uh, in a moment here. Uh, I did not go for Blade, uh, and I don't plan to go for Blade. But I knew a lot of people may go for Blade. So I tried to put up a score that um, I thought would get me the 1% to 5%. Um, I went a little bit higher than I normally do, um, just by a little bit. And as far as the Refresh Rampage, the only champion in there that I would have been tempted to grind for is Thor Ragnarok, just so I could awaken him. It'd be purely a prestige move. But... Um, I still haven't decided if I'm going to do that or not uh, in round two, but we'll see. But for right now, we're going to go look at the arenas. We're going to see if I got the one to five percent and we're going to take a look at the leaderboards and see if we recognize any names. All right. So here we go. All right. And I went too high <laughs> and ended up with a five star blade. Not a big deal. Uh, my main goal is to get those one thousand six star shards. That's what I care about. I don't want to miss those. I'd rather get the champion and 1,000 shards than to miss the champion but not get the 1,000 shards. Uh, and then we've got, uh, ah, I forgot, uh, what was that, Gamora? Uh, I believe, uh, in the uh, Refresh Rampage. And I did get the uh, 1 to 5% there. And I just put up, you know, milestones for some of the trials. All right, let's take a look at this leaderboard here. Put up my usual score for this arena. And let's see if we recognize any names. These champions are older champions, but they all recently got reworked, buffed, uh, something. And uh, some of them are worth taking up. Um, I'm trying to think, uh, really out of that whole thing, Miles Morales, he's the only one that, um, that I would say is worthy of taking to like rank three. Thor Ragnarok only because of his prestige. Um, he is better than he was, but he's still not my cup of tea. Um, Gamora, I like her, but... She just doesn't hold up to the uh, current meta. And uh, Guillotine, uh, I know there was a controversy about her rework. I know she's better now, but honestly, I don't know what her current state is. I don't see people really talking about her. Um, the last time they were talking about her, they were angry because she was the champion everybody chose. Uh, for a buff and when the buff came out it was horrible and then they rebuffed her after that but I don't think that they did enough to make her worth taking up doesn't mean she's a bad champion I still like her um, but in the current meta you just don't see her being used for good reason you have way better champions these days for almost every situation that you might use her for. All right, getting down to the last of the hundred. And I can't pronounce your name. I'm sorry, I can't read that. However, let us unveil who is Mr. or Mrs. 101. Passenger R94, you have, oh wait, sorry, Passenger 94, you have missed just by a little bit, but you have my condolences. I do not know you personally, but I hate to see anybody uh, at that one-on-one spot. It's got to be frustrating. I go crazy in the arena just so that I don't end up there and so far 
in all the years that I've been playing and all the champions I've gone for, I've never, never been 101. Or I should say, you know, because they've changed the arenas, I've never just missed. I've always gotten the champion. All right. Now, these guys here probably were just going four or five star versions of the champs they wanted. This is a great time to pick up a champion that you don't have. And uh, I have them all as five stars, so there was no need for me to do that if I was not going to go for uh, the six star. And like I said, the only six star that tempts me and it's for prestige would be Thor Ragnarok. But then I, I, I thought, you know, okay, if I grinded and I awakened him, dumped the six stones into him, when am I going to take him up to rank three? Not anytime real soon. So I'm just like, I think I'll just wait. Dupe him naturally. That'll be another 20 sigs. And um, save myself the grind. Because I know there's going to be arenas coming up that I am going to want to grind for that champion. So I'm trying to just kind of uh, save my energy for those grinds. All right. Let us uh, check out this Blade Arena here. So as I said, I put up a little bit more than I normally do. Normally I stop at 30, which would have probably still got me the champion. I was thinking Blade would go pretty high. But again, a lot of people already have Blade. There was a time where people, all you saw in their profiles was Blade. That was it. You go down the list because he had high prestige at the time, plus he was a great champion. Now, I don't know. Um, I do see, I know, now Jenser M, I know he's got um, the five-star blade, but not the six-star blade. Um, so uh, I think this is the, this might be the first time blade has been available as a six-star in the arena. So we'll see if anybody wanted to pick up this blade in the current meta. He's still good, but I'm not going for him. I'm still salty about uh, when they did the last, supposedly they did bring it back, uh, featured crystal that had higher rates. Send me old. Congratulations, man. It had way higher rates uh, than um the rates that you see now uh time to shine congratulations man uh they don't even have those crystals anymore they did away with them and he was the last one in those types of crystals so a lot of people saved up their um shards at that time i had never gone for a featured champion in any of those crystals I saved. I opened up about seven of them. Never got him. And let me just tell you, and a lot of people that happened to, I, I have no proof. But they knew that a lot of us were going to be saving and opening these crystals. I would not be surprised. I'm not accusing anybody of anything. But it just seems really, really odd that a lot of people that I know opened those crystals up and were missing out on a lot of them. And I, I don't remember what the uh, rates were, but trust me, the rates were high. And for you to miss with those rates, that's why they were doing away with the crystal in the first place. The crystal was that good. And if you opened up, you know, like seven or 10 or whatever, you were almost guaranteed to get it. <coughs> It would have been really, really crazy. Very bad luck um, to not get it if you opened up that many with that uh, percentages. Still a chance, but so many people missed. And I've been salty about that. I said, no, I'm not going to do that ever again. And I haven't. 
so I can't can't prove it, of course, and and it may or may not be true, but spending that many more shards at that time when I was trying to build up my roster to get Blade, and I didn't get Blade for another year, and I got him out of the um, basics only when he was no longer in the current meta. So I was like, you know what? Why don't I just save my shards? Don't do that again, and just go for the basics, which is what I did. Um, but anyway, still salty about that. So I'm just like, no, you didn't give him to me back then. I don't want him now. I'll get him when he, uh, either comes around to the basic or in a crystal. Not worried about it. All right. So that's the top 100. I saw, uh, I think one or two names that I recognize there. Uh, so now let us unveil who is Mr. or Mrs. 101. Enrique! I am sorry, man. Sorry to see that. The grumpy goat. I think you're a bit grumpier now. I, I wouldn't even doubt it. Won't blame you either. All right. What the? Okay, never mind. Ribbon the Rock, uh, congrats on the five-star Blade. You know, now, if I didn't have Blade, if I had never gotten Blade, I would have, of course, uh, jumped at this. And you see, I got the five-star Blade. He's already SIG 200 now. Uh, dare you catch me. Congratulations on that five-star Blade if you didn't have one. But, yeah. This about this time, getting that five star doesn't mean a thing to me. Uh, would like the six star. Still like Blade, uh, Black Gamer. Congratulations. Um, Blade actually helped me when I was doing, I think, Variant One. I did a lot of parry and bleed. They were long fights. I didn't have any good options. So long fights and parry, 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 get trapped in the corner, do a heavy attack, parry, 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 and, and got it done. Took a while, but I got it done. So I do have a, a heart for Blade, but in the current meta and with my roster now, he's still good, but I have no use for him these days. Sorry, Blade. All right, so that's going to do it for the video. Uh, those who got 201 to 500 also got the five-star champion. Feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know what score you put up. This is round one, so it will help folks who are planning to go for uh, Blade uh, or the Refresh Rampage in round two. So leave your scores uh, and your ranking. And help some other people out. All right. So take care. Hit the like button. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day.